video for those of you that are building your online stores using WordPress and WooCommerce. I am recording some best practices and when you're making your store here, I have found that the best image to use is actually going to be the Instagram size in Canva. So all you do is take any category that you want. Let's just say we're going to do these keto cookbooks. All right, so you're going to put in a product, and you're going to put in a category, and all of your products are going to show up there. And I'm doing this with affiliate income, and I'm right now adding in Amazon products. So we're going to click edit, edit category. And this is where you're going to be able to set up your search engine optimization and make everything look good. And so let's go ahead and do keto cookbook. So I'm over here on um, Canva and I'm using as much as I can for free. So this is the Instagram size image and that seems to work really well there. And what you want to do is you want to have all of your images be the same size so that it looks aesthetically pleasing and these are these will actually also make great pins so up here I am doing cookbooks so let's see what I can find in the way of cookbooks and I'm gonna do free only I will pay but I try to find things that are free first and oh yeah lots of great images here so I'm just gonna drag something over there you know find something you like that looks good there in the background I'll kind of play with this for a minute and see what I like No. Ah, I like this one. Okay, so I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to call this one Keto Cook Books. Okay, and if you don't have enough room here, you can make your image just make this box a little bigger. And then you can make your words a little bigger or you can make the font smaller, whatever you want to do. Let me see if I make this maybe 80. Yeah, that's good. Now let me bring that back down to where it was. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, I like that. Keto cookbooks. And um, you can even space these letters out just a tiny bit. Yeah, but then we get into a different line. I don't want to do that. Okay, I like that right there. So then I'm just going to save this as Keto Cookbooks. I'm going to download this. I download, download mine in a JPEG image so that the sizing isn't too large. I find that it gets um, it still looks great on pins and social shares being a JPEG versus a ping. All right, Keto Cookbooks. We're going to save that. Now we go back over to our category and I've got mine called Keto Cookbooks. There's the slug. It's under the Keto Store. I've got an intro there. You want to make sure you have this. This is great for SEO. It's also going to look good on the page. I'll show you where that shows up. Display type. You can have it display products. You can have it display subcategories. You can have it display both. Now here's where you enter the thumbnail. So we're going to upload it. We're going to grab our Keto Cookbooks. Now I'm going to put in um, a description for somebody that can't see the image two young women are cooking in the kitchen one is holding a bowl the other is holding the keto cookbook and both are smiling use image okay and then um i'm going to make sure that my title my slug and my Meta description look good for the search engines and I'm going to click update. And now we're going to go look here. This is where it's going to be updated. So see, this is what it looks like if you don't have images. And this is what it looks like if your images don't match. We don't want that. So we're going to update. I have not updated that bone broth one yet. So you can see how well those look. How See how good those look together? Oh, that has a filter on it. I might want to remove the filters or put the same kind of filter on every image so that they look... Um, so that they match. And then this bone broth one, obviously I need to go change because it doesn't match. So for that one, all I would do is I would go back over to the bone broth one. So I'm going to take this same pin over and over again 
And now I'm going to look and see if I have any bone broth images here. So I might use an actual product. Oh, I like this. I like something like that. Looks good because it's definitely a bone broth. There you go. All right, so I've got the same filter. Let me see if there is a filter on this one. No filter. Filter. All right, that's fine. And then I would download that one. I'd call it, change the font, change the words to bone broth. And there we go. And now download that one. JPEG, download. Bone broth. Go back to my product. I'll show you how nice this looks. I'm going to go to the bone broth. Now, now, see here is that little intro I told you I'd show you where it shows up. It's up here. So that's going to be good SEO. You want that little intro up there. So bone broth, I'm going to edit that category. Okay, so there's the title. Um, keto store. Here's my little intro. Um, okay, I'm going to put subcategories and products if I have any subcategories. Upload image, upload files, select files, uh, bone broth. I have a feeling I have to go resize that one again. Yeah, but let's just take a look at it. And then the alt text is going to say pot of bone broth is cooking with a large whisk inside the pot. Use image. Okay, now I need to optimize this. Right here I'm going to put shop for bone broth at the keto days store and then i need a meta description let me go grab something up here and this is all my own content from my own articles Okay, now we're going to hit update and you'll be able to see what all, now we can get a refresh and see how nice our store looks. There we go. That's looking great. Okay, so obviously I'm just beginning this website. Um, so if you are needing a WordPress website with WooCommerce to set this all up, I'll give you a couple choices. I own a digital marketing company called Balan Brands, and we can set it all up for you. I also have a link in this video for the Wealthy Affiliate Forum. And inside the Wealthy Affiliate Forum, you can actually uh, sign up for the premium version, and you get 50 WordPress websites for the one low price. And if you pay the annual, you actually get it even cheaper. Um, the, the drawback is going to be that it's very much do-it-yourself. So you'll need to go in there and pick a theme and follow the instructions to set up your theme and follow the instructions to upload your WooCommerce plugin, your Spreader plugin, that type of thing. Um, so we can help you on both accounts. One, you can go ahead and sign up with Wealthy Affiliate using my link in this video. If you do make a purchase, I do benefit financially. You can get that set up and then you can contact us and we can help you from that point get your design and integration all set up. So either way, do it yourself first. You can go right there. If you don't want anything to do with it, you call us first. Or if you want a combination of both, you can go play with the wealthy affiliates, get set up, and then contact Balan Brands, which is my marketing company, to jump in and help you. So that is how you set up your WooCommerce store so that it looks good with your coordinating thumbnails. I'm going to be bringing you lots more training on this on WooCommerce, on WordPress, on affiliate marketing. My name is Lori Ballin and I earned six figures as an affiliate marketer um, in affiliate income alone. And although my results are not typical, I share all of my strategies. Thanks for joining me today.